How's it going guys and girls? This is Mustard here, bringing you a Kano video this time. It's going to be Cutthroat. This is my favourite variation that Kano has. I actually think Cutthroat is his best, and I've gone on record saying that I think this is heavily slept on. Um, one thing people would say is, obviously Kano doesn't have any dirt. He's a very honest character in the game. But then at a Cutthroat where he has 50-50s. Now I know it sounds like I'm over-exaggerating them, but 50-50s are 50-50s. They're both safe with him, you're zero on block for both of them if they actually block successfully. Not to mention you've got Meter Burn Knives, which jail on block into plus 10. Like, he, he's got the tools to work. I'm going to see if I can find out for you now and show you some of the stuff he can do. Okay, I'm going to drop it, but he's trying to wake up attack and go for the power-up. Alright, Meat Burn Knives. Go for it again, and that's me Burn. That's literally, it cost me a couple of bars, and I just took all of his life away in a matter of seconds. Just because he guessed wrong with a few 50-50s. Ooh, definitely shouldn't have broke that. And he used his bar. Okay, Meatless Wake Up, that might be why he got caught last time. Oh, okay, right, yeah, I'm not really expecting that, but that'll do. Okay, let's do this again. Corner carry. Okay, power up. There's the meter burn. Oh, and he dropped it. Let's go try and... Oh, has he quit? Has he actually quit? Has he left? He missed his combo. Yeah, and he quit. Well, that's one way to start it off. Fair enough. Goodbye, my friend. Sorry you can't meet a little wake up against the character that's going to do meaty strings on your wake up because you're delaying your wake up, but fair enough. That is one way to start things off. But as you can see, Ken has got the 50-50s, he's got the new strings, he's got the power up. He gets a lot of utility in Cutthroat, and Kano's universal moves are really good. He has the hard knockdown on the straight ball, he has um, good anti air in the up ball, obviously 5 frame start up, he's got armor on the straight ball which you can cancel, so obviously you know, he's harder to punish than a lot of characters, especially now meter burn up ball is safe, hits twice and is armored. Um, and obviously he's got really good projectiles across the board. So, you know, he's got a lot working for him. He's got a lot going for him. Let's see if we can find some more opponents that hopefully don't quit. Because uh, that was fun. Oh, Mr. Sloth 420. <laughs> Noob Cyber background though. I imagine Madsen would be proud. Question is, who's he going to use? Cryomance is Sub-Zero. Fair enough. Always expect Grandmaster nowadays. It just gives him the most, you know. Of course, what do I do against Cryomancer? I mean, he's got the armor, but I'm pretty sure I can stuff it. Especially on his wake up, my 1 1. But I'll have to wait and see. I don't know for sure if I can do that, so I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna try and do a down forward trade. I think we jump in. Yeah, there it is. Change my mind at the last minute. Okay. Here you go, knife. Oh, I missed it. Oh, normal, meet, uh, normal slide and wake up. Okay, fair enough. I'm still comboed. Hard knocked out. This guy does not want to be in that corner. I mean, he's not grandma, so what have I really got to worry about? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 you can't do that. You got to hit confirm, mate. Round two, fight. How reckless is he going to be? That's what I want to know. That was an actual punish, so if he tries that again, I'm going to win. Oh, that doesn't combo either. This guy's a bit all over the place. Jesus! There it is. Okay, I'm gonna go for the comeback. Let's go! Oh my god, I hate fighting Sub-Zeros online that do that. Just slide into jump. Oh my god, you should be able to punish it on reaction, but I can't do it online. So infuriating. Plus frames. Okay, hard ball. Throw a man at him. Knife. Yep. Oh, instant jump. No. Normal we wake up again. My god. Zero. I missed it again. No. There it is. There it is. I knew it. I knew you'd do it this time. I knew it. Scouted it. Whiff a slide into jump. Every Sub Zero player does it. Whiff a slide into jump all the time from full screen. To be fair, it works because the slide on Whiff recovery, it's it's like elbow dash from Reptile in MK9. Like it's it's a space 
tool. Like, it's going to get you in really quickly, much faster than your forward dash or sprint. And obviously, it doesn't cost you any stamina. So I understand why you do it. But when you've got low health, it's kind of... You know what I mean? Like you, you, you sort of uh, telegraph that that's what's coming next. All right, let's see who's next. I mean, to be, to be fair, like, you kind of... It's, it's the same when you're fighting... Cutthroat Kano, but like when you're fighting any character that has 50 50s in a rank match setting, you have one game to find out what that player's tendencies are. Because, yeah, 50 50s are 50 50s, but if you've got one game to figure out which one they're likely going to go to more, like that guy, he, he threw like two or three back twos, one was an attempted punish on the up ball, and then uh, he did a couple of lows, but he did that was through and through a 50 50. So when it was like hard to time, that's when I'm going to start trying to go for the back dash, try and make it a bit more difficult for him. But we're against Pulsar. You guys might recognize this guy from the ESL Online League. No idea who he's playing nowadays. Of course, it, it would be Bone Shaper Shut Up. Who doesn't play this character nowadays? I do apologize if you guys can hear anything in the background. We're currently having some housework done on the outside of the house, so that's probably what you guys can hear. But we'll see. I haven't seen Pulsar play in a long time, so I'm curious to see how it does. Oh, what? I am not happy about that at all. Oh, I stopped doing that. Okay, got the upper head. Just, okay, just did it in the neutral. Okay, fair enough. Ah. Oh. I now do it. Now will do it. That will do it. I wasn't sure if I needed to use the meter burn just to get that kill, but I am not throwing around away against this character. His question is, if he's, is he just going to scoop again? Oh. I knew it. Oh, I gave up the jumping, though. Minus one on that. When's he going to beat my scoop? That's what I want to know. There's the air to wake up normal health sparks, man. This guy's doing a lot of stuff I don't expect from him. Okay, of our frames. Oh no, he blocked that would have been death if he didn't. Oh, and that's why I get for trying to anti-air Shinnok online. Oh, he's always got bar. Go like dash again. Oh no, he doesn't end it. Interesting. Oh, I thought I'd at least throw it and I get the trade. And that's game. My word, GG man, GG. GG. And I'll throw the old lady at him to finish things off. GG, Pulsar. Now, have a nan. Nah, bone Shaper. Everyone's playing Bone Shaper nowadays. I mean, to be fair, I'm guilty of it, but it's just, it's so good. Like, why would you not? Why would you not play Bone Shaper in its current state? It's just, it outshines Imposter and Necromancer in every way right now. Even if you get the Vortex in Imposter from certain moves, it doesn't change the fact that, you know, you're still unsafe on the overhead. You still don't have a lot of full screen presence outside of Tricky Portal, which can be blown up on reaction by the right opponent. But then there's Bone Shaper, everything's safe, everything does so much damage. He builds meter like a beast. I mean, that, that's that's my favourite thing about picking Bone Shaper, right? That's what makes me feel the most comfortable. Is Shinnok normally has, you know, it's like I've said before, one of his main weaknesses, what people consider, is he's very meter intensive because you need to meter burn health sparks to get the mix ups. And you can only really jail into a guaranteed forward four now, so you get significantly less hits now than you used to. But Bone Shaper never suffered from that nerf because Bone Shaper still has a three hit string that will block string into a health spark and block legit and it's the forward four one down two. Except for four Pulsar again so we'll see how this goes this time. Okay, he's going back to Shinnok. Fair enough. Well, a huge respect to everyone playing the best costume as well. None of that old uh, colour nonsense, just this normal standard Shinnok. Right, I hope we see Pulsar again in ESL Season 2. I hope we see all the returning players come back again, as well as new faces. Right, I'm just gonna like dash. He forward forward from that far, but because I did it down for it, that was good footsies. Oh, 
No, no, no. Interesting choice to break that. There you go, and there's that hard knockdown. He delayed his wake up, so I got a guaranteed 50-50. One thing, you have to be very careful about delaying your wake up against Cutthroat Kano, because if I can get that 50-50 in your face, you're hurting. Okay, he's blocking high now a lot. Okay, he's keeping things simple. And he dropped it. Okay, got it. Power up time, he has no bar. 50-50! Oh, he blocked it. What?! Okay, I guess you learn something new every day. I was really at the high of my jump. I thought I was going to go clean over that. Fair enough. Don't quite know where my health went. Okay, corner carry. Did you use that bar? He used it on meat and burn, health sparks, make up. Oh, I got it. Power up time. Missed it. I thought I'd finish it. And that's game again. Whew, that was a close one. Close one that time. I mean, again, it's just. You know, it's, he doesn't get 100% guaranteed mix up on that uh, restand. If you've got bar, challenge it. Get the armored interrupt. Make him scared to do a follow up because then that's when you start getting back dashes, when you can actually start jumping out of it. Make it difficult for him to get what's guaranteed. He has a two frame gap to get that forward four. If he hasn't shown you that he's got it right yet, don't give it to him. Like, don't give him the, the freedom to just do it again. So, one more game now, one more game now. And this video will be wrapped up. So, hopefully, you guys are enjoying watching this. I definitely do enjoy playing Cutthroat Kano. Like, it's definitely one of my favorite things in the game to play. Um, I know I've seen a lot of people asking for Kano buffs around, but honestly, I don't know what I'd, what I'd suggest for Kano. I mean, he doesn't seem like a terrible character, but he's definitely not the best, but I do think he's criminally underrated in Cutthroat. Definitely Cutthroat. I mean, I can understand the problems he'd have in Commando and Cybernetic, but I really do. I have faith. I have faith in Cutthroat. And it's Pulsar again. Why does this always happen whenever I do rank match videos? Why can't I find multiple people? Why is it not like Ketchup where he can just find everyone and he just finds one after another? But for me, nope. You get three matches against the same people. My word. Not that I don't mind playing people in sets, but if it's in a rank, no. If I'm doing rank matches, I kind of... I like the variety. Like, I've, I've fought Shinnok enough. I, I know what Bone Shaper looks like. I'd quite like to see some other characters, but fair enough. Fair enough. See if I can make it 3-0 or if Pulsar will get one back on me. Let's have a look. Now, he was really hesitant last game, so I'm going in this time. Yep, cool. But he dropped it, so I don't really mind. Alright, converted. Have a baby! Oh, and I dropped it again. How am I dropping projectiles? Cool, got him. 50-50 sound, mate. What? I'm plus two and he got a throw off. Fair enough. I actually forward, 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 forward into it. Nope. Easy money. No, 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 not from that range. Not from that range. I'm not going to chuck projectiles at range. You can scoop me. But then watch him do it in this match. Watch him do it in this round now. Alright, Pulsar, let's go. That's a trade I can't win. Oh. That one's string, man. I knew he'd do it, but I jumped. Oh, I can't believe that missed. Cutting that short, I know, but I always want to get the damage. Yeah, he's worried about the armor now. What? Okay, no. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that, mate? I thought we were friends. He 
and take this trade. Ooh, got it. Ah, oh, got it. GG's, man. Now I'm going to smack you with this holographic toll. Yes. All right, GG's, Pulsar. Oh, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, rank series. I'm going to be doing a bunch more, but uh, obviously I do play a lot more characters than Ketchup does. So if you guys have any requests from like my character pool that you want to see, feel free to let us know in the comments. Obviously, you know, we always appreciate your guys' feedback, be it negative, positive, whatever it is you want to say, we always appreciate it. Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitch at PND Ketchup. Follow us on Twitter at PND Ketchup and PND Mustard. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. All that good stuff. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.